This is a Sleepy Cast Lost episode. Hospital episode 1.5, featuring Spaz Kid, Johnny Utah, Nile, and Rice Pirate. My name is Captain Dickhead. When I drink seven gallons of Monster a day, I piss out kidney stones the size of watermelons. Welcome to the uh, the Sleepy Cabin audition episode where we're gonna put you all through a, a gladiatorial death match to the finish to see who has the cojones or the tatas to bring the goods to the table. Yeah. So today we've got our hosts, Corey Spaskin, Sylvester Stallone. <laughs> Thanks, Jeff. Jeff. Shadman. Shadman. Nice. <laughs> Fuck it. Uh, Nile. I'm Nile. Nile. <laughs> Beautiful haired <laughs> Nile. And I'm Rice Pirate Mick. But God, that sounds so. I hate fucking saying that whole thing. Rice Pirate Mick. Mick. Then why do you say Rice Pirate Mick? Be, Mick. It's just like I don't know. It's like if you if you're car- if you were the actor who played Barney and you're like you yeah, I'm Barney Flintstones. such and yeah. Did anyone ever call you like Rice? Apes? I hear Rice sometimes. Yo, Rice. Hey, I rice. usually put Corey before Spaskin. I'm not like call me Spaskin Corey. Yeah, because that's kind of. Corey Spaskin rolls up the tongue. Can I call, you, can I call, call you Captain Mick? Yes, you call me Captain Mick. All right. Though actually, the fact that people might call me Rice sometimes, the first part of my name in Chinese means Rice, and my grandma oh. every time she'd yell for me, she's like meh meh, which is actually Rice. Rice. It's like the sound. It's like rice Skeletor. <laughs> yeah, this, this yeah, Rice I, sounds I, like. I don't know. One day, one day we're gonna find out you're not really Asian. <laughs> yeah. You've already seen the fucking. You're like, you're like those guys who walk through the mall and they're like fatigues and they're not really soldiers and everybody's like, oh, you're a soldier. Well, what like, platoon yeah. did you fight in? You know, we're... the third, four hundred and thirty-first. But yeah, exactly. <laughs> oh, I, you know, I, I was actually 80, in that. I don't remember 80, you. Uh, regiment with the yeah, yeah the thing. <laughs> the did the thing. So uh, yeah, we, we before we got into starting this, uh, Niall was actually entertaining us with a story about events that occurred what last weekend. Uh, was it last week? Uh, yeah, it was well, a few days week? ago. This, uh, yeah, we like, should call yeah. this the hospital episode 1.5. Yeah. 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 Maybe, right. I, have a, I have an important question. Yeah. What movie were you watching? Uh, Ant-Man. Okay. Go so proceed. I got, uh, Chris and Zach are all the way out in LA, like, enjoying the sunshine, and I'm, uh, kind of stuck mine in Django, the little cat that I have. I got really bored one night. <laughs> like, I went to Ant-Man. Okay, then what happened? And, uh, what'd you call it? So, uh, yeah, I was watching it, and I, I missed the first, like, 30 minutes of the movie, but uh, I, I started, like, getting actually into it. It was, it was decent. I was getting into it. It was an okay movie, 30% on the tomato scale. No, it was all right, though. And uh, then yeah, towards the end of it, I kind of felt like, yeah, I'm feeling a little bit sick. I started feeling a little bit sicker, and then I was like, I'm going to go out for some fresh air. So, on my way out to get air, I woke up, and I was, like, on a step on the stairs, like, in the cinema. And like surrounded by people, and uh, some guy like he had me kind of resting on his crotch, and uh, I was like, I thought like because the EMTs were coming in and the police and shit, and they're asking me if I was taking drugs. I was like, no. And um, <laughs> I wonder why they would ask you that. And they were like, I'm going to take you on an ambulance ride now, and I was like, uh, I don't want to go on an ambulance ride. Mick. What would you like to elaborate on that, Mick? What? what? Niall kind of looks like he does a lot of drugs. I, I was lying with... The, okay, wait. I was lying on this EMT's crotch, right? Okay. They were about yeah. to take me on the ambulance. They said Can you refuse like, somebody who's going to take you in an ambulance? That's the thing. I was like, no, I'm not going on the ambulance. I have no money. And then... But I was like, but I'm really comfortable on this uh, EMT's crotch right here. And then he started laughing. And then, I, and then they go, he's not an EMT. And it was just a dude. Who's <laughs> and I was like, oh, no. And he was kind of smiling at me. And then I... And then I got up to go, uh, I, I got up to like, get out of there, okay. and then uh, I woke up in an ambulance. So, yeah, I must have passed out again. I thought it was more like, <clears throat> the story I was told was you passed out at the movie theater and woke up in an emergency room. No, I woke up in the ambulance. Yeah, and I then I heard that your diet was nothing but, like, fucking... Well, the day before you said... Cat meaningless food low, Yeah, cat food and tiny you pieces of bread. You motherfuckers are just little shit talkers. Oh my <laughs> no, God. that's what I heard. Little girls chirping. I, I heard you were, like, you know, fucking an amoeba I, eating air. The, I didn't hear you actually eating any food. The day, be, eating food. The day before you tweeted... You, the day before you tweeted, oh, I just had, like, t- eight pieces of bread for breakfast. That was actually the same day. The same, day, the same day. Maybe I that's eat. why you pass. Hey, eight out. slices of toast. What, what, when did that ever make someone pass out? You're not I'm, supposed to eat that much bread. But dude, sub, one subway sandwich has more bread than like that many. That much. You're toast. not. If you that's constantly kind of eat that much bread, are, I don't constantly. That's just we, that one day. Are we eventually getting the? So are you gonna if get you to starve the part yourself where and eat that they much bread? It's still not. <laughs> you pass out or? Oh uh, yeah, we're gonna get to that. But uh, no, no. So, like that day, I did not have a good diet. It was beer and bread. But they, they. I've done that before. Yeah. 
But it they, went from bread to beer and bread. Yeah, it turned out to maybe be. it's because you had too much beer. But I didn't. I had three I mean, or four beers. You had a, you a went Viking into a bread coma. Yeah, it's a Viking. Yeah, it's, just Viking. it's my Nordic diet. Murray is king of the sea in Irish. I'm a Viking. But I went to the hospital, and They're they were like, "Tasty Viking." Yeah, I was like, about forty doctors came in and asked me the same fucking shit every yeah. single time. And um, we were talking about it, that you get charged every single time. Every single time. If you guys ever go to the hospital, if you ever go to the emergency room, just know this: you're getting charged for the emergency room. Secondly, any time a doctor comes into your room while you're lying there in bed and they just ask you, uh, hey, what's up? They'll look at your chart and be like, so, what's going on? And then you tell them, they take your blood pressure, they leave. Somebody else comes in a half hour later, they take your blood pressure, look at your chart, ask you how you're doing, then they leave. Every single fucking time they do it, and they will do it multiple times with different doctors, you get charged for every single fucking now, doctor. Now, if you don't have medical insurance, oh, yeah. and if it's, long, if it's not an emergency, yeah. it's a lot cheaper just to get a doctor yeah. and then go talk to him. Don't yeah. go to the emergency room if yeah. you don't have to. If you don't have to. Because it will fuck you so hard. They charge you about a thousand times yeah. as much. Yeah. yeah, so anyway, they all came into me and they like asked me all the same shit. And one guy walks, one doctor comes in, he goes, hello, uh, I'm doctor, whatever. Um, and then he pressed down on my stomach, he goes, okay, make your stomach like you're doing a bowel movement. And then, like, I did, and then he left, and I never saw him again. That was all he did. I asked probably, like, a thousand dollars, like... <laughs> doctor whatever. A thousand dollars well spent. Doctor whatever wanted you to poop yourself, and yeah. left. Yeah, and then, like, I just had to pee in a few cups and shit, and then, um... And that was another thousand dollars? Yeah, to pee. And then they have to I mean, test the pee. The cup was... You get charged for the, the cup test. was at least they $50. It's yeah. <laughs> a new meaning to the word golden shower. Literally, you, you're supposed you to be do, silent. So wait, what did, what did they find out after? No, so uh, yeah, they said you're staying the night, and then I stayed the night, and they did all these heart tests. That, by the way, cost a ton of money. Yeah, but yeah go on. the EKG. Oh, oh yeah, and also Jesus, that cost a lot. Yeah. That actually cost a lot of money in EKG. Yeah, you're, yeah, you're not. You're making my heart rate go up, which is a good thing because my they were telling me my heart rate was at like 38, and it's supposed to be 60. Mm -hmm. So yeah, my heart was at like 38. Isn't something like people with big hearts like they I, beat slower? God, man, I don't know. Niall does have a big heart. Yeah, you got people a big with heart, big man. hearts. It's a compliment. Yeah. Dice. Dice. No, but uh, yeah. So like the girl, the girl doing the sonogram, like the EKG is basically a sonogram of your heart. So it's like the same thing that they use pregnant women. How? And then I stupidly said, "It's a boy." When she did the heart thing, and <laughs> she seems so unamused because like she probably hears that every day. Was she cute? Yeah. And then uh, that's she, why you made that joke. It, it's the only reason why I made that joke. Yeah. But she was not happy with me. And then like I asked her how many times she hears that. She's like, "Every day." I didn't hear any. I didn't even hear about like what happened with any of that shit. So just like the next day, they come in and go, "You're free to go." I just like left and haven't really heard anything since. Shadman, what do you think of this? Seven thousand dollars down the drain. Uh, I'm really interested. What are the consequences if you do not pay those bills? I'm not paying them. What's so what, what are the consequences? Um, oh, I'll tell probably you. Probably prison. Uh, no, prison. it's not prison. But oh. what it is, they'll they'll send collectors after you. Um, it does accumulate in terms of like Interest if you don't shit. pay. No, I'll pay. I'll pay. I'm um, just if you don't pay, it's really bad for your credit. But you know, I didn't consent to doing it. You never asked. You wouldn't be able to get a, like a house or a car. Or shit. Oh fuck that! Should we play a game? Let's play like um, the Price is Right, but with sure. Niles' medical bill. So you, as long as you don't go over the amount. All right. So. so based on how many doctors actually came in to see you? Okay, if I was to make an actual rough estimate, I'd say about eight. Okay, eight doctors. I'm including the sonogram lady. She was a nurse, but so not that's not included. Okay, so we'll say eight doctors, an emergency room visit and the night, night that you stayed, stale pancakes in the morning, uh, and then also an ambulance ride. You got an uh, EKG and a sonogram. No, the EKG is a sonogram. Do you remember? Oh, I, got, is it? I got an X-ray. Okay. <laughs> Do you remember how much Zach's bill was? No, he, he, I didn't ask him. I didn't want to. Okay. I, didn't feel, I didn't want to ask him that. I don't remember either, but apparently it was uh, a lot more than we initially thought. Yeah, I'm gonna say. Um, Based on your visit, um, and I'm gonna say seven. No, no, no. no. I'm gonna say six k. Six k. Six k. That's I've never had six k. But here's the thing: what you don't know is that because you don't have insurance, you can ask for um, because they want to get their money somehow. They're not gonna get anything. They know that. So what you do is you just tell them you don't have insurance, and then they'll do like a forgiveness thing where they like drop it like half. Serious? So then like my bill, I think initially was like sixty five hundred, dropped it down to like three k. So. I think if, I, I I believe they may do that here. They did that was in Washington, so I don't know what it's like here. They want me to go back to the hospital though. I oh sure like, they do. I'll check you in for another three nights, man. They want to run some more tests. Let me this tell you, is, I was in. Uh, they have more stale pancakes to give you. Yeah. yeah. Is this something you ever want to talk about, Matt? Because that's some. Oh no, it wasn't. I, it was uh, Thanksgiving a few years ago, and I was in Seattle, and I ate too much, and I drank too much. 
um, like an idiot. And uh, I woke up in the middle of the night and my stomach felt like it was going to explode. Mm -hmm. Like genuinely, like I, I sound like I have the ho highest tolerance for pain, but like I certainly don't want to spend a night in the hospital and I certainly don't want to spend money. And it was like three in the morning, so it was like the worst possible fucking time. Uh, but common punishment for gluttony. It is well, maybe. So I went in. <laughs> it was so bad that I had to go in. The, the hospital was like something out of Silent Hill. Like all the halls, none of them were lit. Mm -hmm. But like as you walk down them, they have like the sensors. They flash. On. So then like they flash on. So like you're looking at a dark hall, but as you walk, like sections of the hallway light up as you walk down, flicker on in this empty hospital where occasionally like in a dark corner behind a drape you see some dying person like hooked up to a machine like it's just fucking creepy and weird and then uh we, we ran into someone who was in the halls we were like there was no one in the front desk um and they're like oh, okay yeah we'll get you to a room and then yeah a bunch of doctors came in and I, I had no idea like maybe it was an appendix thing or something i had no idea what it was they gave me a sonogram uh to check my stomach to see like if there was something going on they didn't see anything turns out at the end of the day, after everything, I had gas. That was it. I had really bad gas. So expensive fart. But I didn't fart. But I never farted. That was the problem. That was the problem. But yeah, that was the problem. I couldn't. <laughs> was I wasn't farting. I never went to the doctor. Like ever? I've, I've never gone to an emergency room or anything. Yeah. yeah. I had to go because my kidney stone. But oh yeah, you telling us? And then they'd like shatter it inside your body oh, with like God. sound waves. And then you were pissing out fucking shards of kidney stones and blood. Oh my God. And blood. And Shad, blood. Have you ever been? That would have to. God, but damn. I was, but at least the pain was gone, so I didn't mind pissing blood at all. You know, I feel like you don't even have to go to war or kill someone. Was the fact like that they shattered a kidney stone in that, your that, body. None of that even matters, and you man. Pissed it out with blood. The, the 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 one day the one day the the stone did act up on me and made me want to scream. And I, I think I, I'm pretty damn sure I passed out for 12 hours from the pain, but. You know, that, that, that's easily, easily, I know I know what the human body can take in, like, a pain threshold before yeah. it just shuts down yeah. now. Yeah, yeah. Oh, you've reached the threshold. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's what happens. Oh, it was way worse be. than I could have ever imagined. That's it like was, having a small pebble in your urethra. It's not like, some, not like a good. great amount of pain and then it just starts to go down or something. It's like somebody sticks a knife in you and then you just start twisting it. Now, have you ever, like, started pissing and then held your dick? To like yeah. the pressure of it. Yeah. Have you ever f thought of the idea of it not letting go while that was happening? And so the amount of force. Like, have you ever tried to do it for the longest time and then let it go? Yeah. I love it's how like Jeff that. is like, this is not even close to describing <laughs> what was going on with my pain. Well, obviously, <laughs> I haven't hold my dick if I was about to. Pass I, think, I think his analogy was exactly the equivalent. He was saying it is the equivalent of somebody stabbing you in the groin and twisting. I don't a knife. think I'm exagger. I don't think I'm exaggerating. I think it li very, very like. closely resemble a knife being pushed into you in turn. That was hospital episode 1.5. I shoved cough drops into my urethra the whole time you were listening. They make my pee pee tingle. Join us next time on Sleepy Cast, where I'll shit out an elephant made of cough drops. Goodbye.